It's your boy T May with another lit lit live reaction. Today we reacting to the households on UFO government transactions full video. So basically they're going over all the things um all the things that the government been trying to cover up far uh far as information that they have regarding UFOs about um alien species um crash landings what type of alien species and it's funny how you know what I'm saying we all been overlooking stuff like this when they put it they put it right in front of us put it right in front of our face the media and we choose to watch the dumbest stuff you know what I'm saying about you know your 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 favorite streamer your favorite rapper your favorite actress but when we got real stuff like this People don't aren't talking about this stuff, you know what I'm saying? And on this platform, T Money makes bucks. We're covering all types of stuff related to the culture. And this doesn't get more related to the culture than no the question. The question's been answered from your your own US government saying if the alien species exist. So we're gonna get right into this. In its initial analysis, there are a hundred and seventy one uncharacterized UAP reports, and this is the words from the report, that appear to have demonstrated unusual flight characteristics or performance capabilities. I believe more information. So is they known call it, the, the government calls it UAPs. Those are what UFOs, those same thing as UFOs. 171 instances. It's time for Congress to reinsert ourselves. I call on our military leaders and intelligence officials to release more information to the American people about UAPs. And to our military leaders, if there's nothing to conceal, let Congress go to Wright Patterson Air Force Base, the Dugway Proving Ground, or even Groom Lake in Nevada. We should have disclosure today. We should have disclosure tomorrow. The time has come. Thank you, Ranking Member. Thank you, Mr. Moskowitz. And I would yield back now to our chairman. Thank you. Right, now I'd like to introduce our witnesses. Our first witness is Lieutenant Ryan Graves. He's the executive director of Americans for Safe Aerospace. Lieutenant Graves is also a former U.S. Navy F-18 pilot with his own UAP experience. The next witness, David Grush, is a former senior intelligence so officer with the National Right Navy. now, they're pulling out the receipts right now, and we'll see how much they can actually disclose as far as, you know what I mean, UFOs, UAPs, alien species, and all that. No. Geospatial Intelligence Agency and was a senior technical advisor for UAP issues. And final, finally, retired Navy Commander, da Commander David Fravor, squadron leader who worked as a naval aviator for 18 years. Just Mr. Fravor has his own. Those are credentials, okay. We hear that. Let's get right into it. UAP experience known as the TikTok event observations of UAP by multiple witnesses and sensor systems. I believe these accounts are only scratching the surface and more will share their experiences once it is safe to do so. In closing, I recognize the skepticism surrounding this topic. If everyone could see the sensor and video data I witnessed, our national conversation would change. I urge us to put aside stigma and address the security and safety issue this topic represents. If UAP are foreign drones, it is an urgent national security problem. If it is something else, it is an issue for science. In either case, unidentified objects are concerned for flight safety. The American people deserve to know what is happening in our skies. It is long overdue. Thank you. Mm. Mr. Grush. Mr. Chairman, uh, ranking members and congressmen, uh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. This is an important issue, and I'm grateful for your time. Honestly, I ain't going to hold David you. Tur I look like he look like he might be a, a, a you know what I'm saying alien for real got you know mass up some type of you know what I mean some of the uh, camouflage you know what I'm saying cloaking device uh, <laughs> uh, body suit on for real. Charles Grush, I was an intelligence officer for 14 years in the both in the U.S. Air Force, uh, both active duty Air National Guard and Reserve at the rank of major, and most recently from 2021 to 2025, or excuse me, 2023, uh, oh. at the National Geospatial Intelligence 2025, Agency, see? NGA, uh, at That's, the GS-15 uh, time, level, uh, which is uh, the military equivalent type of the full shit. Colonel. He'd probably be on, too, for real. 
I was my agency's co-lead in unidentified anomalous phenomena and transmedium object analysis, uh, as well as reporting to the UAP task force, UAPTF, uh, and eventually, once it was established, uh, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, ARO. I became a whistleblower through a PPD-19 urgent concern filing in uh, May 2022 uh, with the intelligence oh, community. He's always, I don't want to hear what you are. I want to hear you. Again, I'd like to know, um, how do you know that these were not our aircraft? Some of the behaviors that we saw in a working area, we would see these objects uh, being at 0.0, .0 Mach, that's zero airspeed, over a certain pieces of the ground. So what that means, just like a river, if you throw a bobber in, it's going to float downstream. These objects were staying completely stationary in category four hurricane winds. These same objects would then accelerate to supersonic speeds, 1.1, 1.2 Mach, uh, and they would do so in very erratic and, and quick behaviors that we don't, I don't have an explanation for. Okay. Have you, have you we don't have, to, um, so basically what they're saying right there is we don't have, um, the technology for flights to stop at just be stationary, stay, stay there, not being propelled, you know what I'm saying, in these thunderstorms, you know what I'm saying, and hurricanes, and then be able to take off in mock speed in, like, no seconds, you know what I mean? That's what, what type of shit they have, and we don't have no technology like that. So what does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Commercial and military pilots um, that have seen these off of our East Coast. I have. Okay. East Coast, um, where are we at right now? So you know they over they over top of us right now. That, um, um, in the Tic Tac video. Uh, they keep talking tic -tac about Tic Tac. Like tic Tac is done exposed a lot. Tic Tac like the uh, Chinese communist. Uh, tic Tac yeah. done expose them, yeah, and so now they have like to come it, out. They it, have to come out with the truth because you know say I don't know how Tic Tac got all this information on them. You know what I mean for the government, but they exposing them, and they have to they have to show face. You know they got these whistleblowers that saying that they seen things. You know high ranking officials saying they seen things. It's also a miracle that my wife has put up with me for nine years today. Today is my anniversary, so we don't care. Wife, happy anniversary. We don't care very much. As she likes to say, this nine years have been the best two years of her life. So, <laughs> thank you. Populist. Um, Mr. Grush, what, what about you? What was your experience after you came? Yo, forward? my man got a do rag on. Well, uh, it's got only a been scully? About two months or so, so I guess. Yo, my what's up with my man? Overwhelming support. Yo, from hold my up. Former colleagues of mine. What? Hey, what's on man's head though? And I do appreciate <laughs> that. Uh, but I, I do have Yo. knowledge of um, active planned uh, reprisal activity against myself and other colleagues, and it's very, uh, very upsetting to me. Coming from where? Uh, certain senior leadership at previous agencies I was associated with. And that's all I'll say publicly, but I can provide more details in a closed environment. Okay. Mm. Well, the, I, I hope you understand that. Um, this man, yo, he got the bandana. Uh, any attempt, Scully, uh, to vilify, demonize, or engage in other reprisals against our witnesses and people who are telling the truth from their perspective. Yo. Yeah, there were certain colleagues of mine that were brutally administratively attacked, and it, you know, actually makes me very upset. To, as a leader, to see that happen to other coworkers and actually superiors of mine over well, the last three years. How do you account for that response? That that seems like a bizarre response. Uh, I call it administrative terrorism. That's their their quiver, their tool in the toolbox uh, to silence people, especially, you know the. Uh, so there you have it, man. Your boy T Money makes bust with another lit, lit live reaction. You know what I'm saying? And this one is is hitting home because it hits a little different, man. Is the government actually exposing some of the whistleblowers and some of the alien technology that they have and found? Um, I recommend you uh, go through it. I'm not gonna go through the whole uh, video, but I recommend y'all go through this, watch some of it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get educated on some shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't be watching the same shit, man. You know, boy, Team Money makes bucks with another lit, lit live reaction on the alien invasion soon to come. So, like, let me stop. But we out one.